Welcome to This Week in Gato, where we take a look at the interesting, the awesome, and the weird things being developed this week in the Gato engine. Be sure to comment which number project was your favorite this week. Number eight. Long ago, the Fountain of Youth was hidden away. However, it was fate that a usurper would slay the Ageless and unearth it once more. Fountains is an action RPG about fighting your way through a maze-like world. Take the role of the Hooded Stranger, who was recently imprisoned by a tyrannical regime. Can you escape and uncover the mysteries of the war-torn empire? Featuring tight combat and punishing bosses, you'll need to find new abilities and tools to defend yourself and traverse the world. You can download the demo on Steam. Number 7 Child of Ether is a third-person, quest-based survival horror game with a heavy lean on narrative, mystery, exploration, and detective work. Uncover the circumstances behind the grim world you awaken in, and in the process, learn the truth by piecing together the many character stories, clues, and puzzles. Featuring an interesting art style and dark atmosphere, Eisenstadt Studios has created a visually unique game. You can learn more on their Steam page. This week's video is sponsored by you. Honestly, thank you so much for watching these videos. It's so cool to see everybody make the comments and, and vote for their favorite games each week. The goal is to try to showcase these really interesting and cool games that really passionate people have made. And it doesn't happen without you. So thanks for liking, subbing, commenting, voting. And I've done like 23 of these now. So go check out the old ones too. Thanks everyone. Number six. Shape Grid is a casual puzzle game where you find your way through tiles of different shapes and colors, but you can only move on tiles that share at least one of those two properties with you. Once you move to a new tile, you morph into the color and shape of it. With four worlds, each with their own mechanics, you'll have to solve 70 handcrafted puzzles or compete against others in endless mode. There's even a color impaired mode option for people like me. You can learn more on Steam. This game was sent in directly from a viewer of the channel, and if you are working on your own game, you can send it in too on my website using the form link in the description. Number five. Play as Hoppy, a frog who finds himself lost in a strange laboratory in a world that clearly doesn't want him. Journey through this wasted world as Hoppy tries to cause as much mischief as possible. The Misadventures of Hoppy and Betty is a tile-based puzzle game with the ability to undo any wrong move. Featuring 40 unique puzzles and two boss fights, you can download the game right now on itch.io. Number four. In Dead Unending, a deadly virus plagues the city and residents now roam the streets as flesh-eating zombies. Loot the apocalyptic open world and build a self-sustaining fortress. Gather resources to expand and upgrade your base automate defenses and resource production to create a self-sufficient stronghold. Will you survive the apocalypse or become one of the undead? You can play right now on Steam. Number three. Battle AI players in a procedurally generated map with your army in Hex Dice War. In a risk-like battle game influenced by Dice Wars, you can play on 10 different hexagon worlds against up to five AI players. While the gameplay is straightforward, the strategy is almost immediate and you'll find yourself planning your moves and making tough decisions to win the war. You can play Hex Dice War for free on itch.io. Number two. Did you play Legos as a kid? Or like me, still play with Legos? Then you should check out Brick Rail, a project that contains micro Python programs running on Lego hardware a server that handles BLE communication, and a GUI running on Gato that handles train logic and scheduling. You know what? It makes the trains go and stop, and it's cool. Just watch. And before we get to our number one spot, congrats to last week's winner, Cassette Beasts, earning a place in our 2023 Gato Project of the Year tournament. So be sure to comment which number project was your favorite this week. Number one. DevDuck has been producing devlogs and videos for over four years, and his most recent project, Dauphin, has gained tons of support on YouTube. You play as a marine biologist in an RPG featuring underwater combat, fishing, and lots of corruption. And it's up to you to stop it. 
DevDuck has lots of excellent devlogs on their channel featuring the thought process behind the game's development, as well as how he manages to balance life as an indie game developer. You can check out more about Dauphin on his channel.